and oh, here we go again. Gotta hit him in the face. Oh my god, that was a face shot! How are you so strong? Oh man, you just... Oh man, you, you, you got some moves here, buddy. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the very beautiful The Hunter Call of the Wild. Today, we're going to be checking out a new weapon DLC pack that has recently come out, and uh, they're probably the most interesting weapons, at least personally, that I've seen in The Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, first of all, we have this pistol here. This is the Mega Fico 410 45 Colt Revolver, and it's actually a shotgun pistol. It's meant for light game. And uh, we currently have the, I think that's 50 meters, right? Yeah, we have 50 meters on. Uh, I want to see how accurate this thing exactly is. Probably not that accurate, but look at that. I've never, I didn't even know shotgun pistols were a thing. But yes, we have some uh, birdshot in this. This is going to be the perfect weapon for any light game that we stumble across. And at least at 50 meters, it is hitting the board. Let's actually up this to... What do we want to do? I guess we'll just go to 100. I've been, I don't think I've ever been in this range, by the way. It's really, really cool. All right, 100 meters. This isn't supposed to be this way, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I don't think we even hit the board there. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's not even registering for some reason. Actually, do I have to reset? Hold on. Reset personal score. All right, now let's try it again. Maybe because we changed the distance, it doesn't acknowledge it. No, we are just totally missing the target. Now, the cool thing about this is we can actually put in hard cast bullets as well, so you can kind of customize this to whoever you want. And now, what are we, are we still on seven? Yeah, we're still on seven. We should at least be able to hit the target. So, yes, we're going to keep this as a bird shot, but I just wanted to show you that you can put different types of ammo in, which makes it pretty damn cool. Look at that, almost ten points. Now, the next rifle, which we're really probably not going to look at today just because it's... Well, just an ordinary rifle, pretty much. This is the Solokin MN1890, and it's got a five-round magazine in it, so it's pretty cool in that regard. Actually, we should reset this because we have our old scores on there. But yes, just a basic rifle, and it does basic rifle things. I do like that it has a magazine, though. This would be great for, you know, typical deer or whatnot. If you need to take a couple shots at the same time. Ah, uh, this is pretty damn good at that. But like I said, we got some really interesting rifles, and this next one is probably the coolest rifle in the damn game. Is it a rifle, though? It's called the Grek Drilling Gun. Now, let's actually put this up to 50 meters again, because I don't know if you notice on the side, but it's actually a shotgun as well. And this one does it in a really cool way. So we have slugs that are actually in this thing. I think it includes two. And then you can actually switch it on the fly because it's a three-barreled rifle. Well, is it a shotgun? Is it a rifle? It's both. It's got a double-barreled shotgun with an ordinary rifle as well that uses an actual bullet. So it's basically the best of all worlds. You have close-range shotgun, long-range rifle, all in one gun. Let's actually re- oh, we can't actually reload this thing because we have infinite ammo here. But just so you can see it, let's shoot this off. And look at this thing. It's got three chambers in it. It is so cool. So this is probably the weapon I'm going to be focusing on today. Uh, but I do want to play with that pistol as well because, uh, well, it's a, it's a shotgun pistol. So if we have any small game, we'll definitely be using this to hunt it. Now we're going to go back to Verhunga Savannah. I just wanted to come here to use the best range in the damn game. But yeah, those are the weapons. Let's go see what we can find out in the wild now. All right, back out in the beautiful savannah. We're not going to use the ATV today. I feel like that's a detriment to my hunting ability because I use it so much and I'm so damn loud. Uh, so if I don't have that, I don't have the access to use it. So yeah, we're going to just kind of wander around today, see what we can find. Obviously, the goal is to hopefully find a lion. What the hell is this thing? Just an oddly placed rock? Yep, that's just an oddly placed rock. Okay. But yes, the goal is to hopefully find some lions today, take them down, because we only took a few down so far, and, I mean, they're the apex predator, that's what we want to get, but, uh, hopefully we don't become the bait. Alright, I currently have, uh, buckshot in the rifle, I think we're gonna go for long range with the drilling rifle, so we're gonna put some slugs in that thing, that way we have two, or sorry, three powerful bullets, I keep forgetting this is a triple barrel chamber. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't actually use slugs too much, so I thought we would try out that, use some long-range shotgun shells. And I'm not really sure which one I should focus on, though. I feel like the slugs might be the better option, because I can shoot two off real quickly, but obviously for accuracy, we probably want to go to the bullet. I am definitely not a ballistics master, though, so we're just going to have some fun and see what we can do. 
So I'm at part of the map that's supposed to be common for stampedes. I, I thought it'd be fun to try and take down a buffalo, but look at how covered this map is. For a savannah, you usually think like open landscapes, but I can't even see through the shrubbery here pretty much anywhere. So trying to get any distance, at least in terms of viewing, is not easy on this part of the map. Usually we're kind of in the open oasis part down, uh, I guess, up north. This over here, as you can see, is filled with plant life, and it makes hunting that much harder. <gasps> oh, oh, I, th I think I scared him. Maybe just, oh. Did I get him? Switch over to slug. Oh, I don't, I don't got visual. I was following that guy, too. Well, I was following a jackal and some Cape buffalo, and of course I scared him off. Did he? I was trying to see where the heck he went. Oh, 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 he's dead! He's dead, Jim! Okay, there we go. So, that was a connection. I got lucky there. That was a pretty rough shot, to be honest, but look at that. Starting off strong today with a Cape Buffalo takedown. One shot with the new rifle. I had it on the bullet um, selection, just because I, I don't know... I, I feel like the bullet drop on slugs is probably pretty crazy, so I feel like I should use the uh, ordinary bullet instead, at least for long-range shots, but look at that. How'd we do? Oh, yeah, long shot, perfect. That's exactly where you want to go. And we had a perfect shot there. Score 470, not really that impressive with a difficulty of two minors. So, starting off somewhere, though. It's better than a jackal, I guess. Oh, my God! Oh, no. Okay, let's switch. Oh, okay, it's not... Were, were you trying to attack me? That was the worst attack ever, if that's the case. I just hit you in the butt. Okay, that, that was three shots. <gasps> Oh, God. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is... She is not happy with me. Oh, God. I am really bad at aiming when it comes to, like, rapid shots. There we go. Come on. Just fall already. Oh, God. Here we go again. This is the weirdest fight I've ever experienced. Are you not gonna freaking die? Here, you know what? I'll use this gun. Let's try this one out. Okay, this is not how hunting's supposed to be. Like, what the hell? You got, like, mad cow disease? Ah, Jesus! Oh, he... Oh, my God! You're... No, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, my God. Oh, this is embarrassing at this point. Come on, where the... She's actually really good at, like, movement. There we go. Come on, just... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. That was some pretty bad aim, I'll be the first to admit. And I didn't really set up my gun right either. I probably should have just stayed on the slugs. Holy crap. All right, let's reload this thing. And uh, good thing I brought some med kits, guys, because <laughs> she hit me quite a bit. Where the hell's my med kit at? Ah, there we go. Patch myself up. Cape Buffalo almost freaking killed me today. But god damn it, I killed her. Now, how many of those awful shots actually hit? Uh, wow! Okay, I'm not as- I'm not as mad anymore because I was connecting most of my shots. She just would not go down. Now, this rifle I don't think is really made for extremely big animals, so, uh... Yeah, we just got lucky. We had some really unlucky shots at the end and finally we got the, uh, vitals. And got her down. Oh, that that was amazing, though. I've never had something so aggressive trying to kill me in this game. Like, she could have got away. She definitely could have, because that took way too many shots. But she wanted the blood, man. She wanted me down, and she almost was successful. Okay, so there's a lot of Cape Buffalo here. I think we'll m kind of move away from this area. We made a lot of shots and scared off everything anyways. Oh, no. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, please don't attack me. I am... You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm over Cape Buffalo. At this point. You know what? We have to try it. Okay, hit him. Hit him again. Let's switch over to the rifle. And... Oh, here we go again. Gotta hit him in the face. Oh my god! That was a face shot! How are you so strong? Oh man, you just... Oh man, you, you, you got some moves here, buddy. Oh, that was a miss. Okay, at this point, I'm not really freaking even hunting. I'm just a conquistador at this point. Come on! There- Jesus Christ! Here we go again. Okay. Right in the butt. Right in the freaking butt! This is- this is- this is not hunting at this point. Come on. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm gonna freaking die. Okay. Jesus, like, go away! I didn't even want- I should- This is why I don't hunt. <laughs> How many shots do they take? And I'm dead. Alright, game over, man. Yeah, I think I died in the last episode, too. So, you know what? Screw Cape Buffalo. I'm staying away from there for the time being. They're very aggressive. Oh, there you are, buddy. Another miner, unfortunately. 
but at least I spotted him. He's been grunting at me for a while. You can see how quickly they hide in the shrubbery. Um, I'm going to lose this guy, but he is heading towards us, so at least we got that going for us. I think I will try and take this guy down. It's been a long time. I don't Have we actually taken down a wildebeest? I, I don't know, but I really want to take one down. So hopefully he keeps wandering this way, because I don't want to keep wandering that way. They, they seem to have really good hearing. Oh, there he... Oh, oh, okay. 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 There we go. Oh, God. Okay. Trying to switch my gun. Why is it not working? Okay. Whew! Man, we knocked him down. Took forever to switch to my slugs, of course, so I hope we got that second hit. Because if we didn't, he's probably fine. He was running pretty fast. Let's go see the vital shot here. Doesn't look like a lot of blood. That's usually a bad sign. Uh, vital hit. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. Oh, man, he went right into the thicket of this, though. I mean, even if he... Oh, I think I see... I think I saw the outline. Yeah, he did indeed die. Didn't get the initial kill hit. He did run away a little bit, but clearly he didn't last very long. And thank God I saw that outline, because look at this. I would have never found this. You can't even see him when you're right on top. God, this this terrain is just crazy. All right, but yeah, we got a blue wildebeest, so another strong guy, and we did indeed hit him twice, so that second shot is what we needed. We almost missed him, you can see. Uh, the first one was a perfect shot, though, so damn, man, getting all the big animals on this. Now we just need to find a damn lion. I hear it again. That's a stampede, man. That is, there's no other sound that that could possibly be. So I am back to, like, Stampede location, one of the other locations on the map. Because I I clearly never experienced one. That sounds absolutely amazing. So hopefully we can find this. Because it sounds like it would be intense, but actually to be in it would be truly remarkable. So, yeah, we're going to head down here. I have a waypoint up where most of the Stampedes are, so hopefully we can find one. So I definitely found the remnants of a Stampede. We got... Cape Buffalo, pretty much everywhere, mixed with blue wildebeest as well. Looks like they're going backwards and forwards. I'm going to follow them this way because it sounded like they were coming from this direction. But the tracks, I mean, it's hard to fo follow a stampede because they go in every direction. As you can see, a lot of these are going backwards now. But I swear, there's a lot going this way as well. Yeah. <laughs> having some problems, buddy? Oh, God. Yeah, now I'm having problems. Let me just reload here, buddy. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should try out the old bird shot. Not that it's really going to help too much with this guy, but let's see how many shots it takes to take him down. Because clearly he's totally broken, so that's great. I feel really bad right now because I see blood all over this guy. This is clearly not the bullet for this guy. So good. Oh, no. No. There we go. Got him. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was just a little bit of fun. Yes, that was actually the first animal glitch that I've seen in this game so we got a hog a warthog that is and <laughs> look at the zero percent everything was zero percent so why did he die i have so many questions right now or is six the like max amount it's gonna show because i don't think what weapon was this yeah this was all the 45 colt so it doesn't even account more than six shots so we have no idea how many it took and i just realized doing that has pretty much uh probably made the stampede run a million miles away i was still tracking them you can see their tracks everywhere over here but yeah very hard to catch up to a stampede okay I spotted something that's finally eating a gems box over here uh not the most optimal of uh choices for animals but i thought we'd give this a shot of course he's done eating now so now he's going to be traveling Please tell me you don't hear me, buddy. Maybe I should just go for the hit. This is a long distance shot, though, man. If we can get the first shot off really, really good, then we are good. Oh, I should I should have switched to the slugs. I thought because he fell, he was dead. Got him. All right, switch to the slugs, maybe. Don't think we're going to get another shot off. Tried it. Doesn't look good, though. That is a fast creature, man. All right, trying to see, do we got any blood over here? The problem is the foliage doesn't load in when you're looking at long distances. Oh, look at that right in front of me. Uh, no, I want the blood track on top of it. Well, at least I know this is exactly where he was. He ran this way. That was a really small blood splatter, though. So I think this guy might have got away. I'll take a look over here, see what I can find. Okay, yeah, bleed rate very low. Now, we do have the track on him, at least. 
Uh, but that's a bad sign. I don't think he's probably gonna fall down. You can see bleed, right? Yeah, we definitely didn't hit any vitals, I don't think. But he is bleeding out, so I'm gonna follow this for as long as I can. What the hell? Who's, who's calling me? Okay, is he out here somewhere? Where the heck are we? We're back at an outpost. I have been tracking this guy for a long time. Man, I thought I'd see him once I got out to the opening. He is clearly way ahead of me. He's a fast little bastard. Still bleeding, though. Very slow bleed rate, but still bleeding. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap, we got a herd of springbok now. Not really interested in fighting these guys. Fighting these guys. That, that's a weird thing to think about. But hunting these guys. Um, there is a lot of them, though. They're very pretty animals. But yeah, they're really... Are they all miners? Yeah, even even for Springbok, these guys are not that appetizing. So uh, we're going to keep going. Nice to see a little herd of something, though. What is this guy? The gems box scared off the Springbok, as you could clearly see. He, he was having none of their shit. Now he's heading back over the hill. So once again, we're just going to leave that guy. It's just another miner. If we actually had some big sizes, I'd go for him. But we've been finding a lot of miner in this episode. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We actually got more. Very easy. Looks like that. Oh, we got another one here. Miner. My God, where are the big boys? All right, well, we're going to leave these guys. Actually, if they come over here, let's just chill for a second. Okay, you know what? These guys are traveling right to me now. How far out are they right now? This might be shot worthy right here even. Um, this guy's right over the hill. Yeah, 100. Oh my god, they're running towards me. Okay. Yeah, you know what? If they're going to come to me, I will shoot them gladly. Uh, I think they actually just saw me, didn't he? I'm trying to target them. Not really working too well. I don't got visual. Man, we got lots of guys here though. If we can get one that's decent, that would be great. Again, easy. That's a little better though. We got a four. The, the little guy's in the front, of course. And, of course, they're in this deep grass right now. So I can't get very good visual here. We might want to go for this guy because he's out in the open. Yeah, you know what? Got him. Come on. Okay, I think... Did he... I don't know if he was the one that ran that way. We clearly scared them all off. We'll go see what we got there. That didn't feel like a very good hit, especially for the second two. We clearly hit it the first one, though. I kind of wish it reloaded both the ammo at the same time, but no, you got to switch it and reload both manually, so something to get used to. There is a lot of action over here, as you can see, though. Uh, makes sense. We have a betting zone. That was probably their zone. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, vital hit. All right. So he should be... I don't think he lasted very long. Well, maybe... Did he run off? Damn it, man. He must have ran off. I, th I thought we would have definitely hit that one. All right. Well, here we go on the hunt again. Oh, never mind. He's dead right there. Probably in the thicket of this stuff once again. Yeah, he didn't last long after those first two hits. And again, I can't even... Okay. These guys... I mean, it's so easy to lose your trophy if you're not too careful. Okay, so I did miss the uh, slug shots, but that first shot was enough to take it down. Okay, and I made it to the other lake that I have seen lions on. I'm hoping we can get something here. I haven't seen a track or anything. And that's just the luck sometimes. Sometimes they hide very, very well. But uh, maybe in the distance here. I mean, we got some huge lakes. There should be something drinking around here. Yeah, it's not looking good, guys. I thought maybe there'd be something over by the sides. Uh, I just want to make sure. I thought I saw something there for a second, but no, that is indeed not the case. Oh, that's too bad. And obviously, there could be something just within this bush a little bit. The unfortunate part about watering holes on this on this map is there's shrubbery all around them, so they can still stay hidden quite well. That's why I'm taking my time here, really looking. This is where the warthogs were. Uh, they're probably still around here somewhere, but I don't see them anymore. Yeah, that's too bad, man. I really thought at least one of these ponds would have something around it. And yeah, it just doesn't look like today's our day. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. Uh, I really did want to bag a lion as well, but we had a pretty successful day of hunting and being hunted, evidently, as well. So yeah, that was just a quick one to check out the new awesome weapons in the game. Really, the only one we used was this guy, the uh, triple-barreled 
rifle shotgun mixture. Really do want to try maybe some small game, maybe even some bird hunting with this rifle. That would be, or sorry, pistol, I should say, or shotgun. I don't know what to call these things because they're like a hybrid of both. But yeah, I'd really like maybe try some uh, Canada goose hunting or something with this. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would like that or if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see in the Hunter Call of the Wild. But yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.